Hey guys, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install and configure Trovo Bot 2.0. First things first, guys, I'm trying to grant Trovo myself. My link is trovo.live forward slash griff. If this video helps you at all, please help me out by dropping me a follow, dropping by my stream sometime. We play Call of Duty, we play Valorant, we play Destiny, we play Flight Sim, we play loads of shit. So just stop on by. We're pushing for Trevor 500, so any support would be much appreciated. With that said, the first couple of things you need, guys, you need the Trevobot files, which can be found in the Trevobot Discord server or in the link in the description below. You also need node.js because you need to install npm. The link to that website can be found in the description box down below too. On screen now, this is what those two things look like. Obviously, you know Discord and here's the website that you need. So I'm going to hop on in. First thing we want to do is download the um, Trevobot install files. I already have those on my desktop here. I have also already installed, uh, downloaded, installed, and configured Node.js and NPM. Literally, this install is just a, a click, 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 and, uh, and you're done. So first thing you're going to want to do is extract your Trevobot folder. So we're going to do that now. This is what it looks like. Right, so once it's extracted, you want to open this folder up. Then you want to go File, uh, Open with PowerShell, Open PowerShell as an Administrator. If you don't have this option, you open PowerShell and you browse to this folder location, the folder that you've extracted. If you don't know how to do that, you do like CD, C colon backslash or forward slash forward slash etc. All the way down. Obviously, Google it if you need uh, if you need help with that. So once you've got PowerShell open, you type npm space install, and you just let this uh, let this run through. So once it's gone through, you should see no massive red warnings. This looks fine to me. Uh, once you've done that, you go back to your folder, you open up the settings.json and you press edit. Okay, and in this file here, you put your uh, email at trovo.live, et cetera, uh, your password, whatever, you know, bot, the name of the bot. So you put all of your information in this file here, obviously put the information of the account that you've set up to run your bot. I'm obviously going to put my information in and through the power of editing, you guys won't see it. One thing to note when you're doing this, you don't actually need to put the owner in. And when you're entering the information, make sure it's between the apostrophes. That's that's it. This is how it should look. Obviously, I've blurred out my information so you guys can't uh, steal my bot. Okay, so once you've done that, save and close, head back to PowerShell and type in node space dot backslash index dot js. There we go. And Trovobot should boot up. Okay, perfect. So once you get to this point and you see no errors, you've successfully configured the bot. That's literally all you need to do. So the next thing we want to do is make sure that the alerts plugin is activated. It's the alerts that give you the, you know, when somebody joins or when somebody follows, it comes up in chat saying so-and-so's, uh, you know, done the thing. This needs to be activated. If it's not activated, you type in activate dash plugin alerts like that and you press enter and it will come up and say it's already active but um that's because mine is if yours isn't it will say it's activated etc and you kind of use the activate dash plugin and then you can activate any plugin in this list using that command there and that is literally it so so now as long as the bot is running which it needs to be when you guys are streaming the bot will come up and say you know thank you for following or whatever the next thing you want to do if you want to take it one step further is go back into your trovo bot folder Go to plugins, go to alerts, and then go to alert JSON and do another edit here. Now it's in this file here that you can change the message that comes up in chat. So if you want to say what's good user, thanks for the follow, you just type that in. Make sure it's within the apostrophes and this here is the user variable. So don't change that, obviously. But apart from that, yeah, just... Um, just chill. Just go and uh, go and update your stuff. And I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, obviously, as I said before, I'm trying to grow on Trovo. So drop me, drop me a follow, drop me a like, drop me a, a view, all that sort of stuff. If this video does well, I'll do one for showing you how to get the alerts working on OBS. You know, popping up on the screen like you see on Twitch and and Facebook and YouTube and stuff. So that is it for this video, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.